let's talk about the accuracy stat. You know, the one where if you add a 5% reduction to accuracy, it does anything but drop by 5%. What's actually happening here? And what does it mean for you? I'm the Engineer. let's solve a practical problem. In this video, I'll explain what the accuracy stat represents, how modifiers are calculated, and then how the game is lying to you. In a nutshell, accuracy is the deviation of shots from the centre of your reticle when hip firing. This deviation is measured on a scale from 0 to 100, where 100 is perfectly accurate and 0 is perfectly inaccurate. Sorry, weak clone. Luckily, no weapon actually gets to 0 accuracy, actual player accuracy notwithstanding. Now, this 0 to 100 isn't a linear scale as it were. 50 accuracy isn't hitting half your screen or something silly like that. Instead, only the very bottom of the scale becomes horribly inaccurate. As we step through weapons of decreasing accuracy, you can see the slowly but surely increasing deviation that comes from that. Very broadly speaking, 100 is perfectly accurate, 50 to 99 is very accurate, 25 to 49 is moderately accurate, 10 to 24 is pretty inaccurate, and below 10 is highly inaccurate. Even laser beams are affected by accuracy. While ordinary beams are 100 accuracy, debuffs can be applied to turn them into a scatter disco. Your practical accuracy will differ due to recoil and fire rate too. However, recoil isn't a stat mentioned anywhere in the arsenal, and the combination with fire rate is both unlisted and relatively obvious. Fast firing and beefier weapons are typically just that much harder to control. So higher accuracy means more tightly grouped shots on the reticle when hip firing. I stress hip firing because when you aim, some guns become more accurate. That said, I can't say with certainty how effective or universal aiming actually is. For practical purposes, it's best just to check on an individual weapon basis. Now as for the accuracy stat calculations, they aren't straightforward. We've got these lovely little Mars which offer bonus damage in exchange for accuracy. The problem is that the debuff of up to 55% absolutely does not do what it says on the tin. If you take away 55% from 25, you'd expect 11.3, not 14.3. Likewise with the Scourge, dropping what should only be 5% accuracy, we end up going from 100 down to 33.1. So this is no bug. My computer isn't having an aneurysm, although I came close to having one researching this. Take for example the Kuvanu Core, Gamma Core, Tenet Diplos, Despair, Sancti Castanus, and Hiku Prime. They all show 100 accuracy in the arsenal. What's extra special about these weapons is I own all of them, so I can comprehensively test them. Putting the same mod on each of them, their resulting accuracy stat is different in every case. The Tenet Diplos end up the highest at 15.4 accuracy, which is still far lower than a 55% reduction would imply, while the Hiku Prime are the lowest at just 5.4 accuracy. I ended up checking 29 secondary weapons in my arsenal, including these 100 accuracy weapons, with Magnum Force levelling up the mod one pip at a time and seeing the results. What we get is this. That probably looks like a bit of a mess to you, but the keen-eyed will spot there are two groups. One group starts with 100 accuracy, and the other group which doesn't. Those below 100 accuracy all gently curve down without crossing over each other, while those with 100 accuracy absolutely plummet down and do so at different rates. It turns out that specific weapons, mostly 100 accuracy weapons, but with exceptions, of course, are treated uniquely by accuracy debuffing mods. This causes those specific weapons to suffer a greater penalty to accuracy than everything else without the game mentioning this. The resulting accuracy formula for rifles, bows and secondaries then is this. Modded accuracy is equal to 100 divided by all of 100 over the base accuracy minus the mod value multiplied by the total of the mod spread and the additional weapon spread. The mod value is just as it says on your mod, be it minus 5% or minus 50%, whatever you have. The mod spread is either 10 for secondary weapons or 5.4 for rifles and bows. This is just a constant for that category. The additional weapon spread is a hidden attribute for those uniquely affected weapons, 
making the mods have a greater impact on those ones than the mod card would have suggested. So not only do we have an equation that's not a simple percent reduction in accuracy, but the debuff includes a completely hidden stat. By running it backwards, we can unearth these hidden modifiers for the six weapons I highlighted earlier. Lieutenant Diplos have no additional weapon spread, but the Gamma Core has roughly 3.0. The Kuvenu Core is about 10.1, the Despair is 11.5, the Sancti Castana is 20.1, and Hiku Prime 21.9. It seems these debuffs are coded into the mods themselves, as a similar result, one perhaps even more perplexing, happens with the shotguns. For shotguns, the equation is subtly different. The modded accuracy for shotguns is equal to 100 divided by all of 100 over the base accuracy, multiplied by 1 plus the spread bonus as written on the mod, added to the additional weapon spread multiplied by the spread bonus of the mod. For most shotguns, there is no additional weapon spread. This means if you equip a fully ranked tainted shell, which reduces the spread by 77%, and then a fully ranked vicious spread, increasing the spread by 60%, you do in fact end up 17% more accurate. Or rather, the accuracy is divided by 1 minus 17%. We can see this clearly on the Cedo. But come over to the Arca Plasmor, and it just doesn't look right. With 77% less spread and 60% more spread, you'd expect overall less spread, and yet the accuracy plummets from 9.1 to 2.6, because the vicious spread mod adds an additional weapon spread value of 50. In a nutshell, this is quite frankly all over the place. What this does mean is that you can turn some perfectly accurate weapons into relatively inaccurate bullet hoses. If you don't need pinpoint precision, this can potentially be helpful in clearing crowds of enemies. Alternatively, you can fire more bullets per enemy knowing eventually enough of them will hit regardless. Even then, certain weapons will still break the mould and perform feats of accuracy not covered by the accuracy stat. Take for example the Icarius. These dual rocket pistols are relatively inaccurate according to their stats, but the homing feature means this doesn't really matter. The Tenora Prime increase in accuracy as the weapon spools up. The Arsenal states it's an inaccurate weapon but you achieve perfect accuracy once fully spooled, although accuracy debuffs from mods can still spread the shots out again. And then if we look at the Sancti Castanas, which are supposed to be perfectly accurate, we find that adding multi-shot makes the additional throws inaccurate, despite this not happening with other thrown secondaries like the Despair. So to wrap things up, accuracy is bonkers. 100 is perfectly accurate, unless the game decides otherwise with multi-shot. Accuracy penalties reduce your accuracy based on your starting value, unless you have a different hidden starting value somewhere in the code. The scale goes from 0 to 100, unless your weapon has more than 100, in which case whatever. And accuracy is determined by a simple equation, except it's different between three categories of weapons, and invokes a modifier that the game never actually tells you about, just shows you the end result of. So that's a pretty insane result for a single metric. If you found this video helpful, you should definitely check out my damage calculation guide also on this channel to learn more about how your weapons work. Also, if you want to discuss more on this topic and discover other aspects of Warframe, join me live at twitch.tv slash thekengineer. And as always, fight well Tenno.